Everything that kills me makes me feel alive Christmas makeup and hair tutorial. This is what I'll probably be wearing on Christmas Day after I've opened my presents and things like that. So I'm starting off with moisturizer for my skin and for my lips because the air is super, super dry where I live because it's in the middle of winter, obviously. And then to prime my face for foundation, I'm going to actually be using an aftershave balm. This is the Nivea Men's Aftershave, aftershave Balm, I think is what it's called. It has glycerin in it, which is the best thing you can use to prime your skin for foundation. It helps it stay on a really long time and it smells like a really nice man. So that's great. And then for foundation, I use my NARS Sheer Glow and my Real Techniques sponge. It's much like the Beauty Blender, but much, much, much less expensive. And I try to use a lot of drugstore products in this video. It's not all drugstore, but I tried to lean more towards the cheaper side of things. So I hope that is good. I don't know. So I'm going to have all the products that I use exactly listed in the description box if you are curious. For concealer, I use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and blend it in with my fingertips, underneath my eyes, and any blemishes that I might have. And then I set everything with a powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. I've used this powder for so long and it works wonderfully. So I set my whole face with that so everything would stay in place. For contour, I just used a little bit of my Benefit Hula Bronzer on a big fluffy brush. And then for blush, I used a light mauve color, and I just put a little bit of this since I'm going to be doing two different lip looks. I wanted to keep a really neutral blush. So I highlighted up on my cheekbones and on my nose, and then I primed my eyes and got ready for eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I kept it really, really simple. I just used a light champagne color all over my lid, and took a really light brown color on my crease just to add a little bit of definition. I smudged a black liner in my waterline, which is so gross to watch. Like, look away, look away, look away. For mascara, I am back to my favorite, the Maybelline The Falsies Mascara. I haven't had this in so long, and I finally went out and got a new tube. So I'm just putting this on my top and bottom lashes. And then for brows, I use my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil to define them and fill them in and whatnot. Obviously, you guys don't need to wear makeup if you're just hanging out with your family. You're a perfect way you are, but I thought you guys might enjoy this. So I did two lip options. One's more natural. This is just the NYX Gloss in Crystal Soda, I think. Other option that I had was a red lip if you are dressing up for going to Christmas dinner, maybe later in the day, gloss. And so there's two options. Whichever one you feel like, you do you. <laughs> So moving on to the hair, actually my hair was in a bun and it was like, honestly you think your hair is going to be so easy to take out of buns and it never is. It's always, it's always a struggle. So there, yep, I'm a real person too. So the first thing I did was brush it out straight and then I flat ironed it. People at Irresistible Me Hair Extensions were super, super nice to send me some hair extensions to try out. I got the Remy Hair Extension in the golden blonde color. I got the 22 inch length, and as you'll see later, it was actually a little bit long, and I decided to trim them, which you could totally do with hair extensions if you're not worried about keeping them super long. I just wanted to blend in later. So it was 200 gram weight. I didn't use all of the extensions in this look because my hair isn't thick enough when it's flat ironed to comfortably do that and not show them. But this is the signature weft that they've just started selling on its own. You can buy this on like just separately without any others, which I would actually recommend. I don't think that unless you have a lot of hair, like thick hair already, you probably don't need to use all the extensions in one kit at one time. So Signature Weft has is really, really big and it has four separate clips. So you can just kind of clip it in the back of your hair as I'm doing here, kind of like halfway between your top of your head and where your hairline ends, the bottom of your neck. It blended with my hair really well. As you can see, the color is almost spot on with my natural hair. And the clips were slender enough that it didn't create bumps in my hair, which was really nice. I will be honest though, the clips took a little bit to get open and get in your hair. It's totally doable. You just have to spend a little bit of time working them in. 
um, and after that you're fine but just like be aware of that they're not broken or anything you just have to kind of be careful with sliding them in so here's where I trim them I kind of gave myself layers it was just a really quick job because I wasn't too concerned about it but I really like the way that it looked after I kind of layered them all in more with my hair if that makes sense so if you guys want to try out these hair extensions I would highly recommend them they feel really nice and they just they look really good honestly I think so I will have a 10% off discount code for you in the description box and it's also right here on the screen. Irresistible Ella if you want to use that. It'll work anytime that they're not having a sale. And that's going to be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously you don't have to wear makeup if you are not feeling it on Christmas. I probably won't be honestly. but. I asked you guys on Twitter and a lot of you said you'd like to see this. So here you are. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow and happy Merry Holiday that you celebrate. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.